Once, along the coasts and in the rivers of Africa, there lived a gentle giant. Half shark, half ray, with a long saw at the front of its body. The sawfish. The sawfish has many names throughout Mozambique. About 30 years ago, these amazing fishes started to disappear from Africa's coasts. But why? Adult sawfish are huge, growing up to 7 meters long. But they are usually gentle animals that prefer to live in shallow waters close to the coast. Female sawfish come into rivers to give birth to their babies, and the young sawfish spend many months in the rivers and mangroves, growing bigger, until they are ready to go out to sea. Because they live close to the coast, where there are many fishing nets, and because their saw gets easily entangled in most fishing nets, they are easy to catch. Some fishermen sell sawfish fins, along with the fins of other sharks. Big fishing trawlers also catch many sawfish. They don't want them, so they throw them away. But the sawfish might already be dead or might not survive. Many other sharks and rays also get caught the same way. Young sawfish need mangrove areas to hide in, to stay safe from predators. So when mangrove trees are removed, young sawfish have nowhere to go. In some parts of Africa where there used to be many sawfish, they have now disappeared completely. But there are still sawfish in Mozambique. This is exciting news. Mozambique may be the last country in East Africa with a healthy population of sawfish. But why is it important to keep sawfish in our oceans and rivers here in Mozambique? What difference will it make if all of our sawfish disappear? Sharks and sawfish grow slowly and do not produce large numbers of young. A mother sawfish comes into the river to give birth to her babies. The young stay in the river and mangroves for the first few years of their lives, keeping away from the dangers of the open ocean. When they get a little bigger, they go out to sea. Only when they are between 8 and 10 years old do they reproduce, and the females come back to the river to give birth again. So when sawfish are hunted, or accidentally caught in fishing nets, their populations quickly become very small, or may disappear completely. But why should we protect sawfish? Sharks and sawfish keep the life in the sea in balance by eating sick and weak fish. The other fish can grow healthy and strong and reproduce, keeping the sea full of healthy fish. When there are many different types of animals in the sea and rivers, this is called biodiversity. When there is biodiversity, the sea and rivers are healthy and there is enough food for people and for all the different animals that live there too. Let's see what happens if we take all the big animals like sharks and sawfish away. The big fish that those predators used to eat start to multiply because there's nothing there to hunt them. But the more big fish there are, the more food they eat. They start to eat more and more and more of the small fish. Soon there are no small fish left. The small fish used to eat the plankton, but with no small fish, the plankton starts to multiply and fills the water, making it unhealthy. The crabs and shellfish can't breathe because the water is full of plankton. The water becomes an unhealthy place where no animals can live and people can't catch any food there or even swim there. If sharks and sawfish disappear, this could mean no more food in the rivers and seas for the fishermen and their families. 
That's why it's important that we don't catch all the sharks and sawfish. Sawfish and sharks help to keep our rivers and seas healthy so that we can keep catching fish to feed our families. So we can see that it's very important not to catch all the sawfish and sharks in our oceans and rivers. And because there are so few sawfish left, we really need to protect them completely and protect their habitats, the rivers, mangroves and coasts where sawfish live. And if we protect sawfish habitats, like mangroves, we also protect many other kinds of baby fish, which will grow into larger fish that fishermen can catch to feed their families. Besides, Mozambicans should be proud to have such an amazing and rare fish in their seas and rivers. In most of the other countries in the world where sawfish used to live, they've become extinct. People caught too many and the populations have disappeared. It is our duty as Mozambicans to show the world that we can protect sawfish and keep our seas healthy and full of fish. If you catch a sawfish, please release it alive and report it to your fisheries officer. Let's work together to protect Mozambique's sawfish.